A CU professor left the Flatirons of Boulder to go look at rocks on a different continent. That sounds exciting. Brian Heenek spent more than six weeks in Antarctica. He was hunting for meteorites, which actually does sound exciting. He and his team gather up the rocks. They take detailed notes, send them to NASA, and from there, NASA makes pieces of the meteorites available to scientists worldwide. He next studies the possibility of life on other planets and says that those rocks give him clues about the entire solar system. If there is a rock that's sitting on top of a two mile thick sheet of ice, it probably came from space versus from underneath. So they're easier to find there. We find a lot of different types of meteorites. So things that are sort of the earliest pieces of rock that condensed when our solar system formed. So, you know, the early history of our solar system and what the chemistry was like, what the temperatures, pressures, the dynamics, you know, this is how we know when the solar system formed, how it formed, and how the planets came to be. See, CSU ramps, they dominate the North Pole, but Antarctica, it belongs to the buffs. I mean, it just straight up belongs to the buffs. You saw the flag. He next spent Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of January on Antarctica. He was zipping around on those snowmobiles looking for the shiny black rocks that signify a meteorite. And they found a ton. In all, he and his team discovered 865 samples.